Hey everyone. Okay. So today on this 16 inch round, I am going to first pop some bubbles. I have a white titanium master's touch base down here. It is fairly fluid. Um, I did that on purpose. I have a couple little lumps I need to get out. So I am going to attempt the Dutch pour. Um, most people I see do it on like square small canvases, which I would do, but I do not have any because I've packed up a lot of my canvases for our move. And now I find out we're probably not moving till July, so I'm gonna end up having to go buy canvases. It's all right. I'm just getting some of these um, little spots out. I think it's from when I mixed the paint because I'm trying a new pouring medium, which I will put in the description below. So I tried the Dutch pourer many months ago when it first came out and I will put also in the description the link to Rinske's, Rinske Duna is who uh, originated the Dutch pour. I will put that also in the description so you can check out her channel. Um, but we're going to try this again. I've tried this uh, once before and I ended up scraping it because I realized you can't put the uh, Deco Art Worn Penny in with some lighter colors. It just takes over and makes mud. So lesson learned there. So I'm just sharing that for y'all, which, you know, y'all may not have made that mistake, but I did. So anyway, um, let me get some gloves on. If you want to get this um, Red by Kiss handleless hair dryer, right, so you can hold it down like this when you're blowing around, um, I suggest going to Christina Welch's Amazon uh, link, and it's in her list there. I also suggest, if you're not in a hurry for it, to watch the pricing because I got that, I actually bought two of them, for $13.30 and now it's back up to like $26. So if you watch or you have that Honey plugin on, you know, on your browser, um, that might be helpful. Alright, so here's, I mixed some of my own mixtures. This is Lucas Krull Cadmium Orange. Just a hint of it. And I put that into Folk Art Summer Peach. So I'm going to go in the middle and work my way out because I've not seen anybody do this on a round. So that's, this is how I'm going to do it. Um, next to that, I'm going to go in with some Soho Gold. These are all pretty fluid. Actually, I'm going to make this one a little more fluid. Um, because we want them to flow. And one mistake I made the first time is try to remember not to put the heat on when you're blowing it around or it will dry the paint. I'm just mixing up my gold a little, little more fluid. That's the key to these Dutch pours I'm finding is it needs to be pretty fluid. Um, so, you know, the paint can travel, especially on this big round. I mean, I have this big, big round. So, I might layer some of these paints. I'm just going to pour them, and then I'll get the air bubbles out. So, I'm going to pour it this way. And let's go around. Um, the gold... <coughs> Last time I tried one of these pours, um, like I said, it was a long time ago. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm coughing. And I used, um, I used gold, I used cadmium orange, and teal. 
and it turned out like this, which I really actually love. I'm not, I have this listed for sale, but if it doesn't sell, I'm fine. The gold in here is just amazing. So, kind of going with a similar com color theme. Um, I'm going to go in with this cerulean blue. And I'm only going to put the cerulean blue on this side. And then on the other side, I'm going to go in with, this is my own mixture. This is um, Soho Magenta mixed with Master's Touch Pink. Also going to stir a little white into that and maybe make it a little more fluid. Fluid is the key word here. This is truly a fluid art. Because if you do it another way, you could screw it up. Since this is around, I'm not going to, it might look different, but I'm still going to do the traditional, she pours the white around it type thing. It's a lot of pink, but I like it. I'm going to add a little more blue because I like that. It's like a, it's like a, are you having a boy or a girl? I'm going to put a little more of this in the middle and stretch that out. Okay, that's enough paint. I can always add, but I cannot subtract. So I'm just standing to the side here, wiping my hands off a minute. And I'm going to torch the bubbles, put down my white paint, and we're going to see what we can do. Some people do not put their failures on YouTube, but if this fails, I'm still going to put it on there. So you can see what not to do. I think it's important to share those. I know quite a few people who try out um, techniques of painting fluid art and they fail and they don't share what made them fail. So, so I have mixed titanium white in here and it is really fluid. But it's supposed to be. It's also exactly what's on the back. Which I'm going to I'm going to generously pour around this because we're supposed to encapsulate it. I'll give them a little more there. It's almost like doing a reverse swipe, but not completely. So go ahead and uh, mute whatever device you're watching this on because it's going to get loud. So this is what a Dutch pour on a round would look like if you did it the way I did it, which is the same way Rena does it. She, you know, puts the white around the colors. She typically uses, well, I've never seen her use around. She uses um, square canvases and she blows it out, which looks beautiful. Um, but I'm loving what I'm seeing here, so I'm stopping. And I'm just going to pop some bubbles, I see. Um... Since I have GAC in this, it might sell up, which I'm fine with. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That's how I feel about it. Ah, you 
little buggers. You, you just have to wait and because still, you know, things will come up. So let me let this sit for a few minutes and I'll bring you back for a look. Hey y'all. So I brought you down for a look. Um, this is from the angle I poured at. I think it's cool. I dig it. Um, I purposely at the end there brought blue this back up this way so some blue would come up there through the orange which I'm really digging. There are a few cells popping up. Um, that is, and right here, that is because there's the GAC in my mixture um, which I will put here and you can see what I'm currently using. Also, um, I will link Rinske Duna's Dutch Pour channel below. She created it, as I said in the video. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I like all the different colors. I would have been happy with just the blue, gold, and orange. But, or peachish orange. But I wanted to throw something different in there with the pink. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please smash that like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to catching you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. Hey, y'all. It's Diane. So I came in after that first pour, and I added more colors. And I did the same traditional Dutch pour. Um, but I'm much more pleased. Uh, there's very little pink in it now. There's just some pink up here and the tiny bit, you can barely even see it right here. So I'm leaving that there. That's cool because there's a little on the sides here. I'm just noticing now. But I think it looks really cool. I dig it. So I'm very pleased how this Dutch pour turned out. Go ahead and try it. It's a lot of fun. And be sure to catch me on my next video, everyone. Have a great day.